part so this is question 9 and in the first part they have said that they have given an equation and we have to find the value of alpha so uh, log alpha equals 8 equals 3 over 4 now we can just move this alpha into the to the right side of the equation so that will give us a value of this 3 over 4 all right now if we want to find the value of alpha we can just remove the 4 from from the power of alpha by using this method so it will give us a value of 8 to the power of 4 equals alpha to the power of 3 now we can just cube root both sides so that's 8 to the power of 4 and 3 so that will give us a value of of 16 so alpha is 16 now moving on to part b they have given an they have given a expression we have to show the left hand side of the expression equation which is equal to the right hand side of the equation so now if uh, now if we look at it closely that on the right hand side of the equation there are no log base 4s or 16s so in order to show that the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side of the equation we need to convert the log base 4s and 16s to log base 2s so we can just use the formula which is log a b equals log c a no, not log c a it's log c b over log c a so we have to use this formula now if w uh, for the first part which is 3x log 2x it's already in the in the log 2 base format now in order to convert log 16 8 into log base 2 we can just convert it like this log 2 16 same for the second part which is log 2 8 over log 2 4 minus log 2 x and we know that the value of log 2 16 is 4 so we can replace it with 4 and we also know the value of log 2 4 to be 2 so we can replace it with 2 so the simplified version will look like this minus log 2 8 plus 3x log 2 8 now we since uh, now we can write 3x log t uh, log 2x in this format which is x to the power 3x same goes for this part we can write 3x into 8 to the power 3x now log 2x to the power 3x minus log 2x plus log 2 8 to the power 3x minus log 2 8 so we can rearrange it in this format now we have to apply the logarithm rules since these two share a common base and there's a minus sign in between them we can just write it like this same goes for the second pair which is log 2 8 to the power 3x over 8 now if you remember the indices rule since these have two uh, since these two have the same same basis so we can write it like this Now coming back to the log part, 
these two share a same base, which is two, and there's a plus sign in between them. So we can just multiply this. So x to the power three x minus one multiplied by eight to the power three x minus one. And finally, we can write it in this format, which is eight to the power x to the power three x minus one using the indices rule. So that's it for part B. Now moving on to part C, we have to solve this equation. Now if you look at it closely that this equation looks identical to this expression. So we can rewrite this equation in this format log 2 8x to the power 3x minus 1 equals 0. Now we can bring this power to the front, which is 3x minus 1 log 2 8x equals 0. Now we can just expand this, multiply this 3x log 2 8x minus log 2 8x equals 0. Or what we can do is that since this is in multiplied format and there is a zero to the right hand side of the equation, we have two solutions actually. 3x minus 1 equals 0 or log 2 8x equals 0. So this method makes more sense since it's much efficient. So x equals 1 over 3 or 8x equals 2 to, 2 to the power 0, which is 1 basically. So the value of x is 1 over 8. Alright, so that's it for question 9.